Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video and in a few examples, we'll look at problems involving chords, secants, and tangents, and circles. So let's look at our example problem from a recent AMC. In the given circle, the diameter EB is parallel to DC, AB is parallel to ED, and angles AEB and ABE are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. What is the degree measure of angle BCD? Now there's usually about one problem on most AMC exams involving this topic, so I put together a handy graphic table of the most important results from high school geometry. We'll use a few results from the top half of this table, but you'll need to be fluent in all of these results going into the AMC. And you'll find a link to this table in the description section of this video. So getting back to our example problem, it looks like we'll need to work out various angles in this figure. And we notice that this upper triangle spans the diagonal of the circle, from which we quickly find that this angle at A is in fact a right angle. And so the angles AEB and ABE have to add up to 90 degrees, and we're told that they're in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So it's pretty easy to figure out then that this angle has to be a 40 degree angle, and this has to be a 50 degree angle. Now at this point it's not quite clear how to work out the angle DCB. It looks like we could try to figure out the major arc angle DEAB from which we can calculate angle BCD, or perhaps it might be easier to figure out the arc angle DCB, subtract it from 360 degrees, and then use that to calculate angle DCB. So it's not clear which is the right way to go here. So let's work out a few more details of this problem. Now we're told that angle, or excuse me, line AB is parallel to ED. So we know that this angle is equal to this angle. So we have a 50 degree angle here. And that pretty much unlocks this problem. Because since we know DEB is 50 degrees, we know that this minor arc, DCB, is 100 degrees. And from that we can calculate the major arc, DEAB, to be 360 degrees minus 100 degrees to 60 degrees, from which we can then calculate angle DCB of 260 degrees divided by 2, 130 degrees for choice C. So, a straightforward problem using a few simple theorems in combination. Please check out the description for additional examples along with a problem set and theorem table. So take care and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.